Now, yesterday I showed you how to design a buffalo check pattern in Cricut Design Space. And today I've cut out three pieces. I will weave this one and then I'll put all three on my canvas board. Now this weaving looks tedious, so word to the weary. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through most of this weaving. I did put an outline kind of around my pumpkin just to help me understand where I needed to start, what I needed to keep and what needs to go. And if you're interested in seeing how I made this design, let me know and I'll go ahead and post another video showing you that. Okay guys, that foil did not want to stick to my canvas. So I recut it out of a different HTV. So let's give this a shot. Ooh, I like that. I think I like that better. Make lemonade out of lemons, right? Okay, so this gold HTV is something I got off of Amazon. It was a sample pack, and it says to heat it at 285 to 305, I believe is what it said. I'll check to make sure. Okay, 285 to 305 for 10 to 15 seconds, and it is a hot or a cold peel. So, since... I need a little height. I'm gonna put these books and this piece of wood under the void in my canvas. That way I can get a little more pressure on my design. So I'll go about 10 seconds since I have two more presses to do. Then from the underside, I'm gonna use my little Easy Press Mini and just to make sure that it gets good adhesion. So I'm just gonna go all around my design and through the middle of it. All right, so let's see if that sticks any better than foil does. Oh, so much better. The foil just stretched and stretched. It was awful. That's perfect. Okay, so second layer is my, let's see, what is this? Okay, that one is a Caesar. And I'm going to do it for about 10 seconds. And then again, I'll probably go ahead and turn it over, press it from the bottom side. Okay, this can be a hot or a cold peel as well. Now that's wanting to come up a little bit. So let me give that a little bit more time. You're not supposed to put glitter on glitter. This is not something that I'm going to wash like a shirt, so I wasn't too concerned about it, but just beware, if you're doing it on a shirt, you are not supposed to layer glitter. It's a big old no-no in the HTB world. Some people claim they've done it and it works out fine, but I would really be afraid if I did something on a shirt that once I washed it, it would just peel right off.
Okay, let's see what we get. Tell you what we're getting is something that's beautiful. All right, now I saw it was coming up right there. So let me give that just a little bit more press. Okay, so let me show you where I am. The black and the gold is just gorgeous. It's beautiful, but my generic red HTV didn't work well. It was a stretchy one. So now this time I'm using a Glitter HTV. It has a little more substance to it and it is not stretchy. So hopefully it won't <laughs> stretch and pull off like the last one did. But as I mentioned earlier, you are not supposed to layer anything on top of a Glitter HTV. And so that's probably the biggest part of my problem right now. but we're gonna try it again. Let's go ahead and try this for 15 seconds. Okay, it is a cold peel, so I don't want to peel up on it the whole way. But I do want to at least see if it looks like it's adhering. Ooh, it does. It does. It does. I think I could probably take that off now. But I'm going to actually follow the instructions, which is kind of hard for me to do sometimes. But I'll wait a few minutes. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Oh, so pretty. I love it. All right, let's get some pressure under it again. Something that I can really press down against. Just give it one more good pressing, and then we're done. So pretty. Look how that turned out. Cute, cute, cute. Now I really just wanted to do a quick project to show you how the buffalo check works. That is really spectacular. Thanks so much for joining me. Until the next video, bye-bye.